Good afternoon, guys. Just gone one o'clock. I've come out in my lunch hour once again, as I do occasionally, to uh, have a little bit of a go in the weir pool and just below for uh, for some chub. <laughs> Bought some bread with me. Just going to go with the floating crust today. Took a few bits of bread in, see if we can winkle a chub or two out. I haven't got too long, just in my lunch break, as I say. So yeah, I've got a, a loaf of bread with me. Very, very simple today. Got me a little foldy up landing net in the hope that we catch something. And uh, I've got my Dower Black Widow EXT nine foot rod. My sort of, uh, I want to call it telescopic, sort of slightly telescopic <laughs> rod. As you can see here. It's very short for getting in under these trees here. Just two piece fits together like that, and then the butt section extends like so. Simple as that. Nice and quick to get fishing. Very, very simple today. I've got my Cadence CS5 reel on there with some six pound chameleon mono on. And on the business end, I have got a size eight curved shank hook with a Nash bread bomb on it. Simple as that. I'm gonna chuck some bread in, get a reaction hopefully. Put some bread in that bread bomb and uh, catch a few chub. <laughs> go home and go back to work. <laughs> That's the plan. So let's get down here, see what we can do. So we're sat in the middle of the weir, as you can see, sat on the boulders. But I've often found that chub will take in this bit of slack here, just on this edge. It's going to be much easier to fish from here than it is from casting from over there like I normally do. So we'll put a bit of bread in and see what happens. I would expect it will disappear pretty quickly. Yeah, <laughs> straight away. I'm not going to mess about. We'll, uh, we'll get a bit of bread straight on. Yeah, there's definitely some chub there. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. See what I can do. Get a big piece of crust. Well, crust and flake under the bread bomb. Oh, swirl at it then. Oh, this wind's difficult. There we go. Oh, he's shaking his head. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a lovely fish. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Took some landing in that white water. <laughs> Fantastic. How's about that? Fantastic. That bread bomb in the corner of his mouth. <laughs> Wonderful. So guys, I was just <laughs> just walking down to the uh, to the bit below the lock, and uh, just around the corner from here, I've just noticed there's two or three nice chub hanging around in the middle of the river it's right near the top so I've never fished this from here before not really a swim a sort of a swim here <clears throat> I'm just wondering if we can float a bit of bread down to them so they'll take it I've fished in here before and there are some chub there as I say they were a minute ago so it's just swelled at that bit yeah they're certainly inquiring that was quite a small chub I think yeah, something. Yeah, they're swirling at it down there. I think this is going to be a bit hairy, especially with a short rod. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're swirling at it. They're definitely uh, up for a bit of bread. God, yeah, they're definitely swirling at it. There's any point in messing about at all. <laughs> I think I might come around that side. It might be a bit easier. I'm sort of hiding myself away here trying they've always been seen but I think if I'm gonna fish I need to fish from over here gosh stinging nettles everywhere trying to 
too stung. Right, I think we'd be better off uh, from over here to actually uh, to actually fish. I'm taking just you can probably see just over the other side of that stinging that was there. They're not huge fish, they're probably about three pounds or something. But uh I'd rather catch one than not. The only problem we got is that buoy in the middle of the <laughs> river there. <laughs> These are the boys telling people not to bring their boats up here. Warning boys. And they're anchored to the bottom. So Oh yeah, there's one right in front of me here. Now Chubb. Oh and another one there. Three. Yeah, they're definitely up for it, I think. This isn't gonna take too much doing. I want to hook one too close to that boy though, because we'll be in trouble if we do. I think I'm going to flick it downstream a bit. They sort of all came in looking for bread and then cleared off again. Let's go down there. Oh, we had a little nose of it then. And another little inspection. That's it, it's gone. <laughs> one of them nuzzled it a couple of times. And then another one came up and just said, no, if you don't want it, mate, I'll have it. <laughs> right, we need to keep away from that boy. Oh, we got him inside just about. That's not a bad fish. Hopefully we can get him in before he sort of quite knows what's going on. Come on, got him. <laughs> Fantastic. And they're still cruising about down here. Well, we might nick another one out, you know. I think anyone fishes for them down here like this. They're not, uh, they're not suspicious at all. Right, so a quick look at him. Get him unhooked. Oh, God, bigger than I thought he was. God, he's a nice fish. <laughs> Certainly bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> oh. There we are, that's about that. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, I'll get him unhooked. I'll get him in the net down the edge here. and. Like I say, I reckon the way they're still they're still circling, I reckon we might get another one out. It's pretty deep in the edge here. Certainly one more wouldn't want to fall in, so he'll be fine down there. Put the float down. That's it. Sort him out till he writes himself. There we go. Right, he'll be all right there for literally five minutes. He might escape, but if he gets out, he gets out. So be it. Right, let's just see if we can really steal another one out. As I say, they were still circling as I got that one in the net. Yeah, there's one here now. A cracking swim. <laughs> Got my polarizing glasses on as I walked past and spotted them from the top of the bank. <laughs> if I was a betting man, I'd say, I'd say we'll have another one out of here pretty quickly. Let's dump that. Right. straight on it. Nuzzle, nuzzle, nuzzle. Oh, I can't see it anymore. There we go. <laughs> Get him inside that boy. Oh, just about. Oh, it's another nice fish. God, blimey. Right, so we can get them both in. <laughs> Fab. Oh. Phew. That's absolutely fantastic. God, they're really, really having it here. Got no second thoughts. A few little nuzzles on the bread, and then woof, down it goes. See if we can, see if they're interested in taking any more. 
I really need to be going to be honest. I'm just wondering if we can get any more interest. Lots of small fish interest. Yeah, there's one there now. He's looking very suspiciously at it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw any more in. He he's come up for it again. Nuzzled it, gone away. <laughs> being a bit suspicious now we'll leave those few bits in just see if see if we can uh, wrinkle another one out but I don't think so the way that, that one was being very suspicious I think it might be that one that just keeps oh he took it no he sees missed it again he's been very suspicious of the bread I think that's probably the same one that keeps keeps being quite cute about it He keeps sort of going at it, but he hasn't got the conviction just to take it. Yeah. He's just sort of knocking it about down there. I hope you can see all right. Really not sure, not sure about taking it at all. Not surprisingly. it has gone trundling off downstream and he's gone with it, I think. Let's put a couple more bits in and then but I think we're done, to be honest. Still not taking it. It's gone right down there. Still not taking it. <laughs> I only saw three, possibly four, in the first place. And there's two of them in the net now, so... <laughs> Certainly uh, not complaining about that. That's fab. Cool. It's a cracky brace. I have to say, cool, <laughs> bigger than I first realised actually. <laughs> that was the uh, cunning algae. <laughs> that was the second one. There we are. <laughs> I'll try. Might be able to hold them up together, but I think they're going to be in a bit of a beating. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll have a go, see if we can. <laughs> Quick look at them <laughs> together. Fantastic. <laughs> That'll do me. Wonderful stuff. Fantastic. Right, let's get him back. I can still hear one slurping a bit of bread downstream. <laughs> Never mind, we'll leave that for another day. Go on then, you two. Back you go. Fab. Well, what a cracking sort of half an hour, 45 minutes that was down here just at lunchtime. A few chub off the top and I still have to remember this last spot. It's a, it's a cracker. There was certainly two or three more chub in there. They've been very cagey, but uh, not surprisingly when a couple of mate, their mates have just disappeared. But yeah, they were cracking fish. Wonderful stuff. Really, really enjoyed that. And I hope you did too. I will be out again later on in the week or possibly at the weekend. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines. Enjoy your own angling if you get out there. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and I'll see you all again very soon.